Alright, so open this and open this and light it. Can't see the flame, but it is there. There it is, nice and yellow. Very hard to see. Unless we go like this, now you can see the flame is there. And it's for a good long time. This is a hydrogen flame. And this hydrogen flame would be useful for, ouch, for cooking and for other things. If I put this down here, you can see it better. There. So, we have a hydrogen flame coming out of our pink bucket. This would definitely keep the refrigerator going, a flame this size. We can adjust the flame with this. Oops. Still see it there. This is our brass wool, which I tend to use as a flame retardant. And uh, I'm going to turn it off and make some adjustments, but that was good. This is what we have going. We've got this metal piece, this brass wool that I was using. I've also got in the tube here. And so that piece in there acts as a flashback arrester so there won't be any flame going back up into the hydrogen tank. The hydrogen tank is just a bucket and <clears throat> as you can see if I go like this all it is is a bucket where the gas comes into the bucket through this pipe here down near the bottom and it goes out through there. That's all it is. Then this is just filled with enough water so that when this is completely full, the water level rises up here. And then it acts as the pressure to push the gas out. So that's all I did. That's, uh, this is where the gas goes in. It's just made with some PVC pipe and a valve that just goes down. This is the only hard thing to find here is the tank adapter. Um, so you have to get yourself a locking nut and make some rubber gaskets and that's where the gas comes out right there there's two valves and once again that's uh, that's it it's a very simple setup you could use this for biogas as well and then all I do is uh, oops. just take this and put it down, but of course it floats when it's filled with gas, as you see, and that's why I put these bricks on it. And a better situation would be to put some kind of bar here, just to hold it down instead of using bricks. And then uh, as this fills, it pushes the water up. And that's it. And then we get to the hydrogen coming out of the pill bottle using aluminum foil. and. Uh, and then we light it. I start with a pill bottle that I'm putting sodium hydroxide into and the cap of the pill bottle I've put a half inch hole and then some rubber and a locking nut to make a uh, an outlet for the gas and then I'm using PVC pipe and that I close this valve and then what I'm doing is I'm taking Drano um, this is drain cleaner and these are crystals of drain cleaner and I'm pouring them into this bottle and there's water in here and I'm taking aluminum foil and dropping it in and a little bit more of this, these crystals here. And 
Let me put a little bit of more water in there. And now we begin to see it bubble as hydrogen. That's really getting that's really getting violent, as you can see. A very violent reaction there. And I'm just going to Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, as you can see, it's a lot of hydrogen evolving there, and I've got to um, I'm going to do something about that. So this is very hot, and what I'm going to do is open this valve, and uh, now the hydrogen should go into here instead, into this bucket. And next thing that happens is that the hydrogen that's being generated from there goes in here and starts displacing the water from this bucket and making the water here rise. You can clearly See the rise as the hydrogen fills the bucket now. You can see the bubbles moving through there. This is uh, very hot, and this time I used just regular drain of fluid as opposed to the crystals that I'd used before and just using the concentration as it comes. And, uh, yeah, the uh, aluminum foil seems to get used up pretty fast. You can definitely feel the reaction. Still some hydrogen bubbling through. And we'll come back when that stops and put some more aluminum foil in. So when it's vigorously bubbling through, it even heats this water to bath water temperature. It does get quite, quite hot as it, uh, as it works. So capturing that and the water level here is rising as it's displaced. And we want to do this until hydrogen bubbles start coming out of the bottom of our collection bucket, then we'll know that it's full of hydrogen. And we can see what a measured quantity works like. What we try is just to open the valve. Yep, we're getting hydrogen. We don't want to lose it all. all right. So it is coming out of this. And that means that we want to now light it.